Hi guys, it's your girl Jilly. Moving on to Gemini and Gemini in relationship. Can these two work? Stick around to find out. Now remember, I do have other videos with Zodiac in relationship, signs a certain Zodiac sign likes you, and intimacy with a certain Zodiac sign. If you're interested in those videos, make sure you check out my playlist. Each playlist is devoted to a particular Zodiac sign, so make sure you check that out. Now remember, if this video, video does not resonate with you, or the Gemini that you are interested in, please remember to check out the birth chart. You need to know where the Venus sign is, the Moon sign, and the Mars. Venus is how we love and what we're attracted to. Moon is how we express emotions. And Mars is our sex drive. Now let's get started. Gemini. Gemini is ruled by Mercury, the planet of intellect and communication. They are also an air sign. And because both Geminis are the same as far as ruling planets and elements, they already have a lot of common ground. Now what attracts these two to each other? The communication, pure communication. Gemini thrives on conversation, good conversation and intellect. And above all, they love a good, fun time, sense of humor. So two Geminis together give that to one another. Now think about Gemini. They are the signs of the twins. So you're pretty much having four people in a relationship because each Gemini has two people within them. <laughs> so yeah, it's like a big old party with these two. Now, what do they share in common? Obviously they have a lot in common. These two have the same values. They value intellect, they value freedom, they value experiences, they want adventure. So with when one Gemini wants to do something, the other Gemini is gonna bounce with that Gemini because they want to experience it. They're just a curious sign. So these two are like best friends, but with romantic benefits. What one Gemini wants to do, the other wants to do it too. Now, because of this, I'm not gonna dwell on the common ground too much because obviously they have a lot in common. They like to talk, they like to play, they like to be youthful, they love freedom. This relationship is never dull. It is never boring. These two always have something to do. <laughs> but I do wanna get straight to what can happen in this relationship. The thing about the Gemini, they are they have emotions, but they're not emotions are not the most important thing to them intellect and communication is which is obviously what these two provide for each other but gemini needs a, an emotional person to balance that or at least a person who's capable of expressing emotions or provide that emotional like to stir gemini's emotions they need someone to stir their emotions gemini doesn't even know that they need a person like this until they start getting bored of their Gemini partner. Yes, a Gemini can get bored of another Gemini. <laughs> um, but the, that's, the, that's the thing. Gemini is not the best person to provide that for another Gemini, unless that Gemini has a lot of water in, or fire in their chart, which are emotional signs. So if they have a water sign or a fire sign in their moon, Venus, or Mars, then they can definitely bring some emotion into the relationship. But most of the time, Gemini gets bored with another Gemini because they're too similar. They're too alike. It's like they're not really learning that much about somebody else because they're they're with themselves basically. So they, they tend to get bored of their fellow Gemini partner. And without that person who can stir their emotions and awaken their emotions, one of the Geminis are more than likely going to bounce out of the relationship. Now, like I said, if they do have water in their chart or fire in their chart, then they're going to make it work because they're going to be able to stir the emotions of the other Gemini. Another thing about a con about this relationship, because they value freedom and new experiences, there's no one around to keep them grounded, to bring them back down to earth to basically say, hey, life is not all about fun. You know, you gotta you, you gotta balance your responsibilities too. <laughs> and Geminis and Geminis don't really do that very much for each other. So yes, there are the cons there. But this relationship overall actually does have a very high chance of succeeding because they value intellect and conversation so much. It's just that there has to be some something there to stir the emotions of their fellow Gemini and of course um, themselves as well. Now, as far as sex, okay, well, sex is where they're really good at. Now, now I, I hate to say it like this because, you know, I'm a Gemini, but they talk a lot with each other 
when they're in the bedroom, I mean, if there was ever two people who could hold a conversation during the full-blown act of sex, it's, it's two Geminis. <laughs> um, they're very creative. They're very experimental. They're very curious. And you know what's funny? These two will talk about their past sexual experiences with each other and tell them what their old partner did um, and what they liked about it or what they didn't like about it. They'll actually open up about their past lovers with each other so that just so they could learn some new experiences. Now where this would bother another zodiac sign, two Geminis, you know, they're right here. They see each other. So they know that they're not going to offend their partner by bringing this up and vice versa. So they're always having new experiences and new fun times during sex. So they actually have a very vivacious, very, very flavorful sex life. Now, like I said earlier, they can tend to get bored of this after a while. Like, but how can they get bored if they're always doing something different? Well, it's like I said before earlier, they're basically making love to themselves, basically. And they're not having that emotional aspect to it. They need somebody to stir their emotions during the act of sex. Gemini doesn't know that they need this until they realize, hey, something's missing. I mean, everything looks good, but something's missing. So hopefully one of these Geminis has water or fire in their Venus, Moon, or Mars to bring some emotional aspect into the relationship. Um, I forgot to mention, I forgot to touch on the trust thing earlier. Gemini and Gemini, they don't trust each other, but the weird part about that is they don't care that they don't trust each other. They know how each other, they know how they are and they know what type of people they are. So it's like, they don't trust each other, but they don't care. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but it works for these two. Now, again, I hope you guys are liking these videos. If you do, please like, share, and subscribe. It helps support the channel. It helps me keep the channel going. It motivates me to post the videos out more often because it just makes me feel like, you know, you guys come back and see my videos every single week, and it motivates me to put out more videos for you. So you support me just by liking, sharing, and subscribing. If you also want to support me by making a donation to the link below, I will post that information there. And again, anything is appreciated. No donation too big or small. I love, I love you all. <laughs> so again, it's your girl Jilly. Peace. Again, much love.